Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and as you know uh, now it's new year and we will start the new topics we will start talk today about the mm, tagging about the tags uh, I just have a look my previous video and I understand like I didn't show you how to create the tags at all so today I will show you how you can create your own tag and we will start the big topics about the tags so uh, let's go to first level here already I have the sum tags, as you can see, and we will create uh, something like that. As you know, the standard tags in Revit, uh, it's pretty ugly. Uh, we cannot use it at, to anything. So uh, here I have the rooms, as you can see, and let's put now some tags. Let's go to the tag room and we will use, for example, standard one. Here the standard one and let's use the other one, also the standard one. So these two of uh, this uh, Revit standard one um, text. Now we will create the, our own. How we can do that? Let's go to the file, new. After that, find annotation symbol. And here we should find metric room tag. Let's open up. Here we are. And as you can see here, we can see nothing. Uh, no worries, we will create our text now. Let's go to the label. Uh, uh, I will keep it uh, to the middle line and to the center line. And let's add some uh, some the labels. Now I need area. I will do it separate. Uh, also I need the name. Uh, let's say also I need uh, level. Why not? And the last thing what I need the number. It's just like additional. So the first thing is on the top will be name. Of course, the name is most important thing. Uh, and after that, so we need the level, uh, our area, and as additional thing, we need the number, number of our room. So let's make it it's like on the middle and let's a bit ma make it smaller. And here will be my square feet. Uh, no worries, it will change uh, up to your project. I'm using the uh, metric, it will change to metric metric system. So, and use here the level. Okay, nice. Uh, it looks not bad actually. So, the uh, one more additional thing. Uh, we will go now inside to the um, our number. Let's go to the edit label and here the nice thing like prefix and suffix. Uh, these two things never will change. So, what I mean? If you will write here the number something, it always will be number something. So, uh, also you can uh, write the suffix if you need but I don't think so. Anyway, so uh, actually we are finished. Okay, I, I'm just trying to kidding. Uh, we are not still finished. Uh, we can load inside to the project and it will be work. But we want to make it a bit parameterized and a bit uh, more useful. So to, to do that, we should go to the edit type. And as you can see, the type of the our text, it's only three millimeter and that's it. This is really a bad thing. So let's change it. As you can see here under the text size, we have the three millimeter and we can change it. Let's duplicate it and let's create the five millimeter. Five millimeter, okay. And here the five millimeter also. Let's again duplicate and uh, mm, we will make seven millimeters and 10 millimeter. Seven millimeter. And let's duplicate again and we will create 10 millimeters. Here 10 millimeter. And if I will say now, okay, the my uh, tag will change to the 10 millimeters. I will keep it on the three millimeters. This is what I want. So, uh, so far so good. I think uh, we already uh, finished with our um, type of the text. Uh, now I will say like three millimeter, three millimeter black text. Let's say like this. So uh, here no any parameter, just black text, then nothing else. And I will do additional things. Uh, for example, here I have the number. Let's make the visible like uh, variation. I will change it and I'll say like, uh, mm, uh, let's say number. That's just the easy thing. Number type, uh, let's say okay, let's say okay. So, and here, for example, if I'm using the black text, uh, let's change the name black text without number. Without number, it means like uh, our number will switch off. So you cannot say anything now, but if we will change to the uh, testing mode, you can see uh, like this, we will see our, um, our future tag. 
let's go back and let's add some more things for example you can add uh, some fillet region let's uh, add some fillet region uh, let's make it like this why not and let's say we want some curve let's leave it on three millimeter it's pretty enough we will leave like this like this okay so good and as you see the first problem what i have now uh, i have uh, some white boundary around my number uh, i don't like it and uh, how to how we can change it uh, first we will go to the edit type and we will duplicate this uh, type of the text and we will say three millimeter white text why i did it you will see now white text and of course i will uh, change the background to the transparent let's change to the transparent and let's see what's going on you can see the black text and without any white box nice so let's continue uh, go edit back black and let's change the color to the white and as you can see nothing changed because Revit cannot understand 100% uh, white color Revit can understand only just around white color like this you can see now everything working and as you can see our original text doesn't change this is what i want and let's create the uh, one more mm, one more this tag i'll just copy it like this you will ask me why because uh, i will change now to the visibility mode and as you can see i cannot see my text here right so this is really bad uh, here the white this is number i will change uh ta -ta 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 -ta. yes this is number and for that one i will give the same parameter the number because when it's number i don't want to see the black box and the number nice so um actually i will do it later on uh, now we can already uh, load it up inside our project but before we will do that i will create one more additional the thing is i want uh, for example uh, shift these numbers uh, more close uh, to the name when i'm not using the um, number of the room uh, let's switch on the my mod and you can see uh, when it's on uh, my numbers still are so uh, so far from the name uh, let's give to the before i will give the name i will do this one i think you already understand what I'm gonna do, we will do like this. And for this parameter, I will give the name visible number. That's it. So we can load up insights to our project. Let's uh, uh, redo that. And as you can see, we get some problem. Uh, let's go back to the family and I will check what's going on. Uh, so without the number, number switch on off, right? So uh, let's create the new parameter three millimeters um, black text with number so uh, this number will be switch on so when it's switch on i should switch off this one i need to create the one more parameter and off number let's do like this off number and off number for that one Okay, awesome. And when I will use a uh, uh, text, text box with the number, I will switch off my off number like this. Let's load it up again. And now it should be everything okay. And as you can see, everything okay. Now I will change here, for example, anyway, is my uh, with new one. And I can change to the other one. And I cannot see my text, right? Uh, so what's going on in right now and i didn't get it but we will fix it up now so this is white everything okay everything okay so looks everything okay hold on let's load it again to the our project and we'll aha uh -huh sorry i didn't change the parameters now everything okay as you can see now everything working let's try again this is that type and this is without 
Oh, <laughs> this is standard one, sorry. <laughs> yeah, everything working. Uh, because I didn't change the parameters inside the project. So as you can see, this is really easy to create some parameters. And the next, uh, in the next series, so we will speak more about the sharing parameters. We will speak about how we can create additional parameter and how we can put insights to the tags. Uh, and of course, uh, and on the end, we will use the Dynamo for this one. So we starting new future in Revit, so don't miss up. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you next. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video, and give some like, and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this dynamo script or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. If you still want to support my channel but you don't have enough money you can go to the Patreon and only for the one dollar you can support my channel too. You will make me happy too and you can pay seven dollars and you can get all the bottles for every month what I'm posted there. If you're still watching this video, you're lucky because I'm starting the personal Revit classes. So it will be completely free. It will start end of this month, end of this January. So uh, I need the group people who wanna know the Revit. I will teach you the basics things, how you can uh, use the basic Revit and how you can create your first project in Revit. So there will be 10, uh, only 10 the classes and after these 10 classes you can go to the for example to the work and you will understand what's going on there and you will know how to draw so uh if you are interested about that please uh, find below this video the my email and write the message like i want to join your google classroom and if i will you if i will choose you you will start it in right this month thank you guys again and see you next time